Welcome to the Taf Hub. This is a brand new show brought to you by Taf Africa Global to educate you on real estate business and all the information you need to know about real estate. After 45 years of construction and real estate development in eight African countries, it is time to share my experience and it can only be done in the Taf Hub. We will be inviting experts who will give you facts and the right regulations on real estate development. Join us every week on our social media platforms for an exciting show. You can also watch us on JRTS TV every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Yeah. Happy New Year guys, happy 2023. I'm back in my favorite place in the Gambia, Taf City. I'm here to talk about goals, milestones and targets. It's three weeks into January. That's all everybody's talking about, it's goals. So my favorite place to talk about goal setting, goal smashing and how we get there. Stick with me, let's go. The Mariama, there's so many Mariamas here. Sorry. Actually, let me just park this up. I'm gonna talk to you quickly. So, Mariama, oh, I'm gonna put this here. All right, let's put this here. Okay, so how are you? I'm fine. Happy New Year. So, I'm talking to everybody about New Year's goals. Yeah, so I love your uniform, you look Thanks. great. Thanks. What's your goal for this year? This year, I do. I do many jobs here. Yeah, I've yeah. noticed. Yeah, I do security. When I see the gardens, I help them water. Sometimes mm -hmm. I, I keep, I take the flowers to the garden. Yeah. Yeah. So you do gardening here. You've yeah. also started working in the security, opening the gates at Better yeah. Estate. Yeah. And this year, you told me earlier, yeah. you want to take the gardening full time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's your goal. It's a good goal, yeah. and you know exactly what to do, right? Yeah. Every day you're working on it. Yeah. So you're gonna smash this goal. <laughs> High five. <Thank> you. <laughs> huh? All right, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go yeah. speak to other people about their goal. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I spot my ladies in red. Hello, ladies. We're wearing the same colors. Huh? Yes. Red, the color of passion, love, and of course, the color of Taf Africa Global. I love red, and happy new year. So this is the new look. Give me a little twirl, I love it. <laughs> You've just brightened up my day. And you guys are all smiles. Happy workers, happy town city. High five. Hmm? Breakfast on you. Eh? <laughs> okay, back to these exciting ladies. Nayende, hello. Uh, sorry to intrude, but I had to come and speak to you. So what's your name? Sira. Sira, please say hi to everybody. This is Sira, don't be shy. Hi. <laughs> so Sira started off as a gardener. Yeah. And now you're doing painting. Yeah. So this is from January. Yeah. So this is really new. So this is her new year goal, is to improve on her technical skills. So Uncle Taf, um, another one of his initiatives is to get 100 ladies trained over the next three years, improve their technical skills. And you are one of these that are doing the painting. So you've done all the painting here, you and your team. Yeah. 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 So when did you start? January. Yeah. Yeah. And how is it going? Oh, it's good. You enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah? It's fine. I know you're busy. <laughs> Don't worry. You can take a break. Break, break, break time. <laughs> so tell me more about yourself. You live in this area? Yeah, I live in Gunjur. You live in Gunjur? Yeah. Okay. And how long will you be doing this for? Uh, we will, I'll continue to do it because we want to approve it more. Yes. Yeah. Good. Uh, we are four teams. Four of you. Yeah, but our boss is there. That one is Mike. Okay. Yeah. But we four people come here to work this because we work up there. 
to the turntable too. Oh, you did the turntable. Yeah. Oh, you did all of that in the turntable. Yeah. Well, you're really good then, and you've learned this all since January. Yeah. You should be proud of yourself. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I'm gonna come and you can yeah. teach me because you know what? I couldn't get this this precise. This year is just about going into every section in Tap City and just finding out what's happening. I don't want to miss out on anything. Keva. Hey Annie, how are you? <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Happy New Year. Same to you. I told him I need to go everywhere. So what's yeah. happening here today? Um, you know it's New Year. Yeah. So new style. Okay. And so we're redoing our nursery, which we will have different type of plants and vegetables. Ooh. Yeah. So excite me. Tell me what's coming. Yeah. So we're having different type of plants and vegetables, which all is imported. Oh. So as you can see, we have different types of plants which we're gonna plant like this these ones are vegetables okay so lettuce yes, and salad. carrots where are they from um they are all imported from all around the world nice nice yeah. mm. so this is called tough city yes so we're gonna make it a unique city sweet peppers i love yeah. it cabbage, cabbage nice corn corn sweet corn Oh, pumpkin, pumpkin, yeah. tomato, tomato. And with tomatoes, we have different types of tomatoes. Right, so you've got the palms and yeah. you've got the mini vegetables, bite yeah. sized tomatoes, yeah. yummy. And you have carrots. Different carrots. Yeah, sweet. Keep pepper. them coming, keep them coming. Oh my god. <laughs> tomato. Wow. Onion. Only everything you need everything is going to be here. It's going to be here. Yeah. Wow, this Cabbage. is great. Yeah. Ooh, this is nice. Huh? Aubergines. Yeah. All right, let me not keep it to myself. Have a look, guys. There's a lot coming here. Yeah, and we have a lot, lot more coming on. Squash, See. everything. Everything. Okay, good. So you're catering to everyone. Everyone. And it's that whole live, work, and play. Because you want people to live here, and eat here, here, sleep here, work here like you, right? That's the point. <laughs> So we have different types of flowers too, mm -hmm. as you can see, which are imported all around the world. Nice. Yeah. So oh, these the are, types are amazing. Of flowers. What's this one? Cactus, you plant us, grasses, variadas. Please don't quote me on that. I've got it wrong, but yeah. So we have them all over the world. So nice. this is the nursery. We're going to put it here mm -hmm. and then later we'll transpire, um, transplant them into the buildings. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So they start off here. Yeah. How long do they stay here for? Um, normally it's um, a maximum of three months. Three months. So they yeah. grow here. They nurture it in the nursery. Yeah. Why it's called the nursery. That's nursery. So they're from the nursery, they move to their homes. Yeah. Perfect. And That's it's going to be all around the estate. All around the estate. So this one is a foxglove. Yeah. So this is exactly how it comes how out. it looks like. The colors are amazing. Just yep. imagine that just outside your fence when you come out in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is good. Yeah. So what's over there? What's these ones? Are um, these ready to go? Yeah, these ones are already ready to go. Okay. And, and these ones are imported too. We have, um, we have the royal palm. That's from Nigeria. Oh, let's have a look. Let's yeah. have a look. Let's have a look. A little bit of Nigeria in Tax yep, City. Yep, yep, yep. So go yep. on, show me. Yep. So we have the royal palm. Right. You see, the royal palm is kind of different from, right. from the local palm. Okay. So these ones are the royal palm. They have these smaller leaves. And the local palm, sorry, these ones are the local palm. That's the local palm. Which okay. have the bigger leaves. Okay. And then this, the royal palm. Come you on, see guys, how, keep up. How beautiful it is. This is imported from Nigeria. Wow. Yeah, it, it just grows like the American California palm trees. Right, they're the beautiful. Yeah, they're that's beautiful. how it looks like. They're beautiful. Okay, perfect. Yep, yep. So something like these, where would they go in terms of landscaping? Um, they go into, um, in, around the walkways okay. and this thing. Okay. But if the resident wants it inside his compound, mm -hmm. On his decision, we can do. Okay, okay. Yep. Yep. Probably a little extra cost, yep. right? <laughs> I'll That's just it. put that clause That's there because this is just amazing. I mean, yep. oh, yep. I love it. And what are these? Um, these ones are rain trees. Rain trees. Yeah, okay. They are called rain trees, and they are very beautiful trees. Okay. Yeah. It grows. It grows like like something like an umbrella. <gasps> oh, nice. Yeah. So it's good for shading, shading yeah, and everything. Yeah. It it gives you a cool area. Okay. Good. Yeah, are yeah. these would you say low maintenance flowers? Yeah. Yeah. They are very low maintenance. That's really good. Yep. Okay. Because you want to make sure in a city yeah, that and, these and they last. are tropical. They're tropical. They're tropical. So we're talking living here for years for and years, years and years. For years. What's your favorite one, Kim? Ever. My favorite one is this royal palm. 
Okay, why is that? Very beautiful. Okay, is that because you went to Nigeria? Yeah, and I saw <laughs> it. And if you looked at our videos at PH, Port yeah. Harcourt, yeah. at Golf, um, Golf Taff, State, yeah. Rift yeah. you will see how beautiful they are. Okay, well, thank All you right. so much, Keva. Thank you, Annie. I can see the ladies waiting for you. Yeah. Busy, busy. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. All right. But I mean, you. I know you're in all the departments, so I might grab you somewhere else. Yeah, I'm coming to the site. We'll meet at the site later. Nice. I'll yeah. be walking this year. All right, I'm Annie. getting fit, Keva. And, and these are the able ladies ladies who makes everything possible nice as you can see hi them. ladies yeah <laughs> okay good yeah. all right thank, thank you, you so Annie. much keva nice you take see it you. see you soon bye bye all right i told you guys i was going to get everywhere and why not go into one of my favorite plots hands down i know you hear me saying amazing all the right adjectives but this is my favorite plot ever in Taft City. Bale, <laughs> what's your goal? Uh, uh, in English, please. Uh, sorry, I didn't get you. I told you, Betty, you see, we all want the Betty. We're going to go show them the Betty. It's still under construction, there's still work in progress, but media and marketing, we love it, so we're going in. So, sneak preview into the Betty. <laughs> right, so. The Betty is of course two apartments. So you have a two bed on the ground floor and a three bed on the top floor. I can only show you one because they have got goals to hit and we don't want to disrupt them. Let's look at the three bed. So, okay, I promise I'll be quick. What I want to walk in and see is this. This, this flood of light. It's um, bright, it's spacious. Your balcony, a three bed apartment. Ah, this is why we love it. Um, it's still being done, but you can still see what a finished product will look like. So this is your lounge. Spacious, modern. Let's look at your separate kitchen. So modern, you can close this door while you cook and then you walk in and wow. Look at that. This is amazing. Look at the flood of light coming in. So you're washing your dishes. Got a nice view. Sabo over there. Ooh, is that a vista coming to me? Nope, because they didn't get a code, so they're not coming to me. So bright and spacious, which is what you want, you know, especially first thing in the morning. You want that flood of light coming through. Again, I think another selling point, unique selling point for me is the balcony. So when I say balcony, it's three access points. So we've just stepped out here from the kitchen, but you also have the sliding doors from the lounge. And if that wasn't great enough, we step here, the master bedroom. So master bedroom also has access to the balcony. So it's actually quite a long balcony. The bedrooms we'll see next time because you know what? Goals, targets, milestones, the workers have their own and I'm not going to disrupt them. Let's focus on your goals, getting you a Betty in 2023. See you soon. As you know, it's the season for handovers. So for us at Taft City, January means handing keys to owners. And this is one of the houses that we've handed over. And I, there's Vinta. So Hi, Anita. Vinta, you sold hey. this house and yes, now I've caught you here. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you again. Yeah, okay, good. I know yes. you're busy. Yes, yes ma'am, But I am. this obviously is one of your, this is a pride and joy for you, yes. right? Yes. So this is the Nima. Yes, yes. this so is the Nima. You tell me about the Nima. Um, the Nima is 176 square meters, four bedrooms. Um, is one of our best sellers, although Labinta is named after me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so actually now this sale is actually a little bit personal to me because of the relationship I had with the client. Okay. Um, Jalimadi. Yes. And his gorgeous wife Fatima. Um, yes, we pretty much furnished the house. You have a sneak peek of the yes, video. Yes, I'm going to show do? you guys later Please on. Please give yeah, them. I will. And then we're doing a boy's quarters and out kitchen for him. Okay. We kind of like doing the landscaping and stuff. Yes, we're moving. Yeah, yes, so you yes. said it's a proud moment for you. It is. But to be it fair, is. I've seen you. You treat all your customers the same. They're all extra special. That's the special binter touch that we get. Mm. So, I mean, uh, how long did this process take, Jali Mari? Is it 12 months? Yeah, 12 months. 12 months. 12 months yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And you've got a few more handovers this Yes, month. we do. We okay, do. We good. Do. Okay, mm. I'll leave it to it. I know oh, you're busy. Thank, thank you so you. much for your time. Thank you for passing by. And happy new... Oh, actually, no, 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 no. We're talking what? goals. Okay. Binter, mm. what's your goal this year? Ah. 
Anita, what will be the goal for every salesperson? Smashing the sales Smashing target. the sales. I Selling so. more houses. But Bintas, not numerous. <laughs> See you soon, Bintas. Like All right, Bye. guys. So another person with amazing goals. Let's keep me in the goal setters and the goal smashers. Musa. Musa, Musa, I got yes. you today. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're always at the office, but yeah, today yeah. I got you. And let yeah, me guess, yeah. you're here. This is one of your designs, right? Yeah, yeah. I knew it, I knew it also. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Okay. you tell them about it. So this is Musa Silla. Yeah. He's one of the architects at TAF. I yeah. see him at the office every day. Yeah. He's on a big architecture table yeah. doing loads of designs. Yeah. Today you're here. Yeah. Tell us about the Aisha. So this is the Aisha design. This is what I did uh, yeah, in 2020. In 2020 for the competition on the Young Architects. Oh, you were in the Young Architects yeah, competition? Yeah, so I, I become the second runner. Oh, now you're an old architect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were the second runner of the Yeah, thing. second runner. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Tell yeah. us about that, actually. Yeah, the company, yeah, we did, uh, you know, Taft, uh, MD, he did uh, this thing, the competition for the Young Architects to to bring the Young Architects in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the Gambia. Uh -huh. So we, had, uh, we have some judges designing, judges looking, looking for our designs and all. Taking the, these things, how do you call it? The the uh, the, the designs, they are structured and everything. Mm -hmm. So I, I want this one. You want? Yeah. Okay. This is the design. That's so this is four bedrooms. This, this four bedroom is uh, is one 133 square meter. Wow. Okay. So that's a big one. Yeah. So it's an it's it's, it's, it's affordable, it's luxurious, and it's unique. So as a TAF architect, what are some of the things that you look at when you're designing? So how does it work? Does Uncle TAF walk in the room and say, Musa, I want a design for TAF City, um, this is what I want, or how does it work? Tell us behind the scenes what you do. Yeah, normally, you know, we, uh, the designs are from, like, from, from us. We design and we present to, uh, to, okay. to, to, to TAF. Okay. And he will look at it. He will mm -hmm. make some suggestions on the designs and modifications. So. On his on his satisfaction, mm -hmm. then we, we proceed the work. So this one, yes. how did it start? Were you at home? How do how do you start thinking about a design? Well, uh, I was at home. I was thinking, you know, it's an affordable house, so it have to be affordable and the and it have to be modern as well. Mm -hmm. So I use this design for the you know they are modern designs and. And they are unique and affordable. So looking at this, because yes. you know, for me, yes. I'm just all about the beauty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me technical. So looking at this, what screams affordable? What's modern about this design? This design, this uh, this design is more. This design is, is modern as well. This okay. design is modern. So this is the extra. Yeah, yeah. These right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Which yeah. of course are customizable, so our customers can yeah. play around with the colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like this color? Yeah, I love this color. You love this so color. Actually, this color was chosen by the, uh, the client as the well. The client chose yeah, it, yeah. I thought so. we so. have different colors. The, the clients, they choose the colors as well. Okay. And yeah. if you want, what's your second favorite color for this design? Ah, red. Red. Yeah, yeah. You can say that to make yeah. me happy, Musa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so the layout was uh, chosen by the client. I did the layout. Mm -hmm. So the client approved it. Mm -hmm. So here you can park two cars. Okay. So in terms of the landscaping, they yes. tell you exactly how they want it I as well. Them, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. And you said this is modern. What's affordable about this design? What makes it affordable? Well, uh, it, 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 the, the, the design is not having much corners. Corners, okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's affordable as well, and the. Uh, so when you say corners, do you mean the shape of the, the seat, building? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Wow, yeah. I've learned something today. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, what's the most affordable shape? Uh, it's a square shape. The square. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Square is the most affordable shape, yeah. and then you build on it and yeah. modify it. Modify it. Yeah. Okay. So did you do any modifications for this client? No, this one is the standard one. It's the standard but one. But we have another one. Yeah. The same one with modified with the choice of the client. Okay. You know what? Next episode we'll show you both. What's your goal for this year? Uh, my goal for this year is uh, one of, one of the designs that I did have been built at the side. I'm seeing it. People are loving it. Mm -hmm. So that's a big goal for me. You smashed that goal already. Yeah. So what's the next one? The next one is, we, you know, we are going to Sabah. We want to do some new designs. Okay, new designs? designs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So okay. We're working on new designs at Sabah. So I'm hoping to have some nice design there. Okay, you know what my new goal is? To make yeah. sure that when you have those new designs, yes. we get them to show them. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. agree? Yeah. We have aligned goals. Aligned. There we go. Thank yeah. you so much, Thank Musa. You so much, yeah. All right, goals. Let's go see who else has goals.
And while we're talking about goals, I just want to bring it back to our goal, which is the Betty, the beautiful modern Betty. So when I talked about the Betty, I focused on the three bed. But like Musa mentioned, we have buyers that are buying the three bed and the two bed, so a ground floor and the first floor. Now, what you can do is either you could rent out the ground floor, you could live in the top floor, you could knock it into one and live in there in a five bedroom property. Either way, that's the whole point of buying a TAF home is that you buy the shell and you modify it to suit your requirements. So if you're looking at our brochure and you're thinking, I really like the nyima, but it's something about the binta I like. Twist it up, make it a binta nyim, a nyim binta, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, it's your property and we're just here to help you work towards your goal and make it happen. Now, it's January, which means that we've been handing over a lot of keys and there's a lot more people that will be moving into Taf City. Uncle Taf, uh, MD has been going around and meeting some of these residents and he's had a few handovers there and testimonials. Now let's have a look at some of that footage and see how he does it and how he meets everyone because you know what if you're gonna live here chances are you might bump into him every day you probably see me running around but let's meet Uncle Tap. Hi, Jelly and uh, Fatima, tell me, how, how do you find this place? We love it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Amazing. Um, you guys did an amazing job. Yeah, right? yeah. Definitely beyond, beyond our, our expectation. So, we are super impressed with the finish and uh, overall, we are super amazed with the uh, kind of service that we receive from you guys. Great. Absolutely. Now, now you, know, you know real estate investment? or buying a house, it's all about investment. Absolutely. Because there's value in it. Do you remember how much you paid for this house? Um, yes, I think uh, we bought the Nima. I think it's one of the most expensive um, uh, four bedroom family house here in Taf City. Mm -hmm. And it was about $7 million. Uh, mm -hmm. But lucky us, we were the first 50 buyers mm -hmm. and we had an amazing 20% discount. Wow. And then that knock off uh, a good million plus from from the original price, yeah. so we couldn't we couldn't ignore it. We had to jump. Wow! On it. So, so as a first buyer, you gain by getting a million. Absolutely. Uh, do you want to know how much it is being sold now? So, if you want yeah. to buy it of you, how much you will you will you will make out of it? I would love to know that. Yeah, <laughs> it's two million more. Oh wow! At this moment. At this right? moment, yeah. That's nice. Oh wow! Yeah. So whatever you paid now, it's gone up by forty percent, and and the reason is simple. We all know that you know with Ukraine mm -hmm. and after COVID you know, all the prices has just jacked up. Absolutely. So what we have seen now in Benna, for those of you who were like first time buyers, mm -hmm. uh, the prices has gone up by 40%. That's and that's surprise. what real estate does all over the world. Yes. When you buy in, you know, later you gain value. Absolutely. But, but let me tell you something, we're very happy about the confidence that you have in us. Yes. But now let's, let's, be, let's be real. Right. And don't look at my eyes. <laughs> tell me what we've done wrong. Tell, just tell me what you think that we could have done better. And be honest. I, I cannot think of any. Uh, if anything, um, it, it's just the time of delivery. Mm -hmm. um, like, what inspired this trip mainly was this house. Mm -hmm. Fatima and I, we've been married for five years and um, we never did a wedding. Because mm -hmm. five years ago, we thought it wasn't a smart idea. Mm -hmm. We were young and um, we needed to um, invest and then you know save some money um, mm -hmm. before we are able to spend it. Mm -hmm. And then again, um, being the first son of my dad, I didn't think it was a smart idea to come to Gambia and do a wedding without owning a property. Mm -hmm. So um, we originally wanted to come do the wedding in December, um, but you know um, the promise of delivery was December. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. you know I I know things don't always turn out as planned, and I mm -hmm. know I'm also. Uh, one of those that actually task you to do a little bit more than you the were supposed houses, to, the extra yeah. houses. Mm -hmm. So I knew I had to give you guys another extra time uh, to make sure that um, the boys' quarters and also the ex external kitchen that we wanted is also completed. So um, I anticipated it, you know, so we did make arrangements to make sure that we're able to uh, accommodate that extra time that you guys will need to do the finish that we want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So basically, um, everybody is very uh spontaneous like mm -hmm. from the moment we came binta is my main person mm -hmm. um when i came here the first time everybody's moving you know doing everything within your powers to make sure that we're able to um occupy our space 
So pretty much I am impressed with the service. I'm impressed with the final product that is delivered. And there's still a work in progress because like the Boy Scouts is still mm -hmm. under construction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's good. You know, you know, the reason why we want to have this honest opinion, especially mm -hmm. from you, 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 the clients, right. uh, we're living in a world of, of social media. Absolutely. I mean, and, and that's what social media is. It's, a, it's an open platform that anybody mm -hmm. can comment anything you want. Mm -hmm. And to be quite honest, we do have quite, you know, a number of comments right. coming out there in the open about our houses, houses mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. our, our services. Mm -hmm. But we are open to listen to suggestions. Fatima, let me ask you, um, you know, when you buy a house, especially here in the Gambia, mm -hmm. uh, we all have friends, we have relatives, mm -hmm. you know, we have loved ones. And um, you don't buy a house alone, you don't take these decisions alone. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have people who will try to influence you, to encourage you to buy, others won't. Yeah. Let's look at the other side of it. What was it that the negative things you heard about TAF? Just be honest. To be quite honest, yeah. when we were buying this place, almost people didn't think it was a good idea. Yeah. The quality of the house and many other reasons. So we wanted to buy because we had, you know, a little bit of faith that you guys would do a good job and mainly because also we were desperate to have a place and we didn't want to go to other work where we do our own constructions. So I had it at the back of my mind that when we come everything isn't gonna be hundred percent as we like it, but I guess it is what it is. But when I came when I started finishing I was like it's actually, you know, much better than I thought. The finishing is quite neat. It's really nice. I like it. In addition to that, yeah. um, yes, I've heard some negative comments. Um, somebody that I know said, man, you must be out of your mind. That, that place is in the water. I said, okay. Um, Uncle Tuff, I've been doing this for, for decades now. And I am someone who actually constantly follow you on social media. And I've seen the kind of work that you've, you, you've done in Nigeria. Literally, you transform like a water place, sun fill the place, and then turn it, to, uh, turn it to an estate. So I'm like, if anybody can transform this place, it's Uncle Tav. If water is an issue, I don't think that will challenge him because he almost did the impossible in Nigeria. And I saw that video through Woodemeyer, and then that actually uh, cancel out that doubt, you know? So, um, and the other thing also was like, okay, perhaps you could just use your own money and then find your own place and build. And for us, we have a lot of things to worry about back, like, you know, back in the US, we have a business and we do not want the stress of uh, having either a family member or a friend try to do a concert because we've had a lot of stories where things don't go as planned. So we had extra money. We, had, we bought our first home in the US in 2019, mm -hmm. but the feeling wouldn't be the same as owning a property in the Gambia. And who do we better do it with than someone who has been doing it for decades? So we wanted a peace of mind and, um, and the ease in owning a property. And um, Dalaba came, but in my head, I'm like, you know, he just came back from Nigeria. Maybe Dalaba is just a starter. Something good is on the way coming. So when I heard about Tough City, I'm like, why did he name the place Tough City? Maybe this might be his legacy. He's gonna go all out on this. So I had my doubts, but I'm like, you know, Twice the size of Banjul and the blueprint that I saw, I'm like, I'm ready to gamble on this, literally. And I don't want, for me, I, I like to use this example. Um, in, when Carnivian Estate was out there, a lot of people were like, nah, it's not a good idea, it's a small house here and there, but Carnivian Estate became one of the most high-end places to live. And then the price value right now in Carnivian Estate is mm. through the roof. Mm. And I do know there will be challenges being the force uh, occupiers of this place, mm. but then I'm not looking at the immediate benefit. I'm thinking 10 years from now, mm. what will this place look like? Mm. And what will that mean value-wise to us? So, you know, um, back home in America, I, I keep saying back home, but back in America, yeah. <laughs> in the pandemic, Fatima and I, we sent some money here to build our first home. But she saw an opportunity, she told me, let's pull the money back from the Gambia and open a shop. I had my doubts and I said no, because it was in the pandemic and I'm like, that's crazy to do that. Yeah. Super persistent, um, you know, uh, that's how we complement each other. Yeah. I have great ideas, but I do calculate my risks a lot and she will push me. And that's one of the best. So this is, this is the interesting part. We send money to build a house. Perhaps when we started building the house, it might take us five, 10 years to build it. Yeah, yeah. She said, how about we pull the money and then invest it in a shop? Mm -hmm. Within one year, mm -hmm. here we are. Yeah. You know, we own one of the nicest houses, I can say, yeah. <laughs> in tough cities. So yeah. yeah.
Right, so you've heard how others did it. Forearmed is being forewarned. What you need to do now, get your goal in mind, start working on a plan, make sure that you have all the information you need, which is why we are here. Call us, email us, ask us all the information you need. Somebody asked me to show the Betty and we showed it today and we'll make sure you're ready to work towards your goal. Now, my goal, beat Uncle Taz's steps, get fighting fit, nobody will mess with me, <laughs> Anita's on the move, I'm gonna get fit, I'm doing it, in Vernon Estate, Taz City, there's enough space here for everyone to get fit. <laughs> See you soon guys, I'm slashing my goals. <laughs>